the last five months, Frankie Blas didn't know where he would lay his head at night. I've been on and off in the streets. Each day, he spent countless hours with the hot sun beating down on him, collecting donations from generous motorists who were kind enough to roll down the window and give a dollar or some spare change. Over the summer, Frankie's mother passed away. The two were inseparable and struggled for the last decade to keep a roof over their heads. When his mother died, he lost the government-assisted living, leaving him to find shelter wherever he could. I was sleeping by two morning mayors, you know, the pavilion there. And, you know, it's, it's, there's times that, you know, it's not, it was nice and quiet, calm, and then they had nights where it wasn't like that. There'll, there'll be people, you know, like, you know, there's people there, I've had things stolen from me several times. I head over to the pavilion and there's no one for me to lay down. You know, I, I cannot lay down on the floor because, you know, my condition, I can't, it's hard, it will be hard for me to get back up. And thanks to the generosity of some in the community, Frankie now has a studio apartment in Aganya Heights where he resides temporarily until he receives feedback from the government on his application for Section 8. Others donated furniture, cleaning supplies, and a TV. Another friend of mine uh, was helping me get some as other things as well. And we went over to Kongwa, and there was a little keyboard, maybe like, you know, I don't know, like, same like five octaves. And it's been almost so long since I've touched the keyboard. I, I, I kind of stopped playing because I, I didn't have one for a while. You may catch him over the holidays at Payless Supermarket playing piano. It's a talent Frankie has never shared with anyone, but now that he is, he's able to bless others with his music while getting donations from those who listen. Amazingly, Frankie remembers the notes, even though he hasn't had a piano or a keyboard in years. It's been almost so long since I've touched the keyboard. I, I, I kind of stopped playing because I, I didn't have one for a while and I couldn't, you know, I, I didn't want to be carrying it around on the road and stuff. He plays without sheet music and even with his arthritic condition that has deformed his fingers and has impaired the mobility in his legs, leaving him bound to a wheelchair. This Christmas, he's extremely grateful, and while he doesn't know where or who he will spend it with, he's just thankful for the angels in the community who shared the Christmas spirit with him. Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody that's helped me. I can, if I name all of you guys right now, we'll go into next year. Uh, so there's so many of you guys out there that uh, you know, I'd like to thank. He hopes to land a job in the new year, and his one Christmas wish is that the government develop more programs to help the homeless and low income on the island get back on their feet. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan. If you'd like to pay it forward, you can help Frankie by calling him at 685-9105.